First, we load a project containing annotated source code and a model description. We have successfully loaded the project expression problem. All features and files are shown in tree structures. The view in the center is zoomable and shows the graph of the feature model at startup. On the right, there is a miniature version of the main window. Now we can zoom into a specific part of the feature model. In the file view, we get all files of the project containing source code of this feature. If we zoom further, we can see more details about features in the file and the source code itself. The colored vertical bars represent annotated code and allow the user to turn on and off background colors for code fragments. Code fragments belonging to the same feature have the same color. We can control the color transparency with a slider. On the right, there is a mini-map of the model supporting user navigation in a large graph. The center view is represented here by a movable window. It is also zoomable. For quick navigation, double-clicking on a node gets the user directly into the node. In the file view, a second minimap is open for navigating in large file structures. A third minimap helps the user in keeping an overview in long source code files. We can switch the views directly by using the push buttons in the toolbar. There are also push buttons for quick zooming into a view. Let's say we want to see all files for a specific variant. We can enable and disable features by clicking on feature nodes. Empty circles denote optional features. Filled circles denote mandatory features. In the feature view, we can color each feature of the model individually. This helps to distinguish features in the file view and code view. The chosen color is now used project-wide. The selection of features in combination with the zoomable interface gives control over customization and filtering of project data. In the file view, only those files are colored that belong to enabled features. Files belonging to inactive or feature-free files are grayed out. When the cursor rests on a file node, a tooltip shows the file name and feature information. Different levels of detail allow a user to display more or less information, depending on the magnification level. A feature histogram offers information about the portion of features in a specific file. On higher levels of detail, previews of annotations and the source code are shown in miniature. Now we show how we support a user in locating a bug. In the project Mobile Media, a bug occurs when the feature Include Photo Album is active. We now want to locate the line of code where the bug occurs. To do so, we zoom into the feature. In the file view, relevant files are now shown in green, and files containing no code of this feature are grayed out. Since we know that the bug occurs when we want to display a photo album, we check the Media Controller class of the software. We only have to focus on feature-related code. Clicking on the green bar activates the background color of our feature. Here is some feature-related code for displaying images. Oh, here's the bug! The filtering mechanisms and highlighting function enabled us finding the error fast and easy.